Hey everybody, this is Wes. I'm watching the replay of my painting process for this next Notes on a Landscape series painting called Trees Are Like Metaphors. Um, I started with this large canvas that I was uh, painting a different painting and I, it wasn't going well, so I'm, re I'm repurposing it. I flipped it on its side, put the little reference photo on the bottom right corner, which is, I think it's even like a screen capture, like a photograph TV or movie paused on a good grouping of trees, that kind of thing. Although I don't follow it exactly. Anyway, I'm I'm kind of positioning everything and I'm darkening up the shadows and working on a large painting it's uh it's difficult to kind of take the whole thing in as one image sometimes. Um I know when I was doing this I don't have a lot of room to back up to see the whole thing. And for a little while here I had these large gaps in the uh in the tree in the main tree grouping there where the sunlight's pouring through and I kind of didn't even realize it until I got into it and then I, I started uh, covering it back over. Right now I'm kind of focused on just making interesting shapes in the leaves and improving the painting incrementally, little by little. Here I'm uh, trying out some red, adding it here and there throughout the painting. Um, you'll see I come back through and, and cover that over quite a bit. After a while here I, uh, I end up kind of covering over a lot of it, like messing it all up with drips and things. It's just something I do from time to time. It kind of helps by uh, dripping paint down over what you've already painted or by adding blobs of color that aren't part of the photo at all. It sort of forces me to go back in and refocus the painting, sometimes leaving some of the of the interruptions, but often just painting back over it. It uh like I said, forces a refocusing a uh, kind of painting painting the painting over again, if you will. It adds a certain history to the painting. Here's the drips I was talking about. I'll be adding a little more. And now that it's dry, I'm coming back through and covering over some of those drips to kind of re to refine the painting again. Some of the drips becoming part of that new painting. As with all of my painting videos, these aren't how-to videos, although you can take what you like from it uh, and do it yourself, no problem. But it's not intended to tell you this is how you paint. This is just kind of, uh, I don't know, my thoughts on how I'm doing what I'm doing <laughs> and to whatever uh, success that allows for, take it and try it out. Um, adding that bit of gray to the... Uh, painting. I, I often do that when I'm not sure how the balance of things is going as far as color goes. When you add gray or, you know, neutral colors like that, it, it tends to uh, weigh the painting down, grounds it, kind of gives it an automatic balance because you've got 
you know, warm and cool kind of combining to form this neutral color. And so that kind of acts like a, a bridge between the, the extremes. This part's just showing some of the detail work. I like the way those uh, tree trunks were looking nice and dark, so I darkened them even more and just kind of playing around. I'm, uh, I think at this point I'm not even looking at the reference photo. Kind of just kind of going on what I know about tree shapes <laughs> and the way leaves and branches go. Again, with this one, I, s I started adding these different colors and trying different things without doing as much backing up and examining it as a, as a whole, as much as I should have. Something I'll try to remember for next time. Now with the palette knife, adding some some thicker paint just for the texture and the look of it. And trying to find slightly different hues of color. Now for the writing part, the words. Meet me in the park beneath the trees where the boughs bend and sway in the warm windy wind. It's become kind of a fun stream of consciousness mind dump, if you will, <laughs> onto the canvas. It's, it's kind of a fun thing. I always like stream of consciousness, but uh, in in my in writing or reading, but kind of this is my chance to do it on a smaller scale. <laughs> And now I'm kind of going back over the whole thing with the with a light wash. Although it started off pretty extreme with the green, but I using a spray bottle while it was still wet, spraying it down, letting it drip down, and end up daubing off a lot. Although in the end, a lot of it did still remain, and I had to kind of go back and reestablish some of the cleaner greens and other colors, and uh, and darken up the tree trunks again, that sort of thing. But the idea behind it was the, uh, especially the white china marker that I'm using to to write the words are just too bright on the canvas and uh, and kind of in my mind need to be knocked back a bit. So that's just how I chose to do that. And adding back in the whites of the sky coming through the trees here. And that's about the end of the painting. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, this was Notes on the Landscape. Trees are like metaphors.